you couldn't look anybody up. You could have an Encyclopedia Britannica 30 years old or something like that. You couldn't look anybody up. So you had to go on your knowledge. Remember, a reader is a reader is a reader. You had to go on your knowledge. And they didn't even in those days give you uh, a resume of anything. You, were, you, you learned to interview anybody flying blind. And one of the other jobs I had around that time was working for the wire services. I worked for Reuters and I worked for AP International. And um, the reason was I spoke three of the languages that they, um, wire services would need to send somebody to a place. So, for example, they sent me to interview Papa Doc in Haiti during the time of the heavy Tantamaku. I don't, I'm not so sure there still isn't a Tantamaku, but um, they were very, was it the Olson Hotel in uh, downtown ha in uh, Haiti, I think it was, and they said, just be very careful, the room's bugged. So my husband and I were very careful, the room is bugged. And they kept me there, waiting and waiting and waiting. And finally, I got to talk to Papa Doc, and he only wanted to speak, the man was fluent in English, he only wanted to speak uh, uh, Haitian French. Now, I spoke French, but not well enough to be on the air. So I, it blew. Mm -hmm. The one really good interview that I could have sold anywhere just blew up in my face. Because you can't, as an interviewer, keep saying, what? What, what is that word? No. So, but I did get to go to a lot of South American countries and Central American countries and um, report on things that were going on. Usually, when you have something going on in a country, there is a group of uh, news people who go. And what they do is, one, the rest of us sit in a bar and drink. And one goes out and finds the story, and then comes back and tells the rest of them. Um, I think people who know me know I'm famous for um, dragging a dead body so that the photographer for the news service could get better light on the body. He said, will you help me? This guy's dead and we want to put it in the service. So we drove, we dragged the body. And he took the picture, and that picture was one of the top award-winning war pictures for uh, the country. I will not mention the country wow. that was. So uh, I learned a lot. I learned how to drink with fellow news people in a bar. <laughs>